Hi, everybody. Uh, we're back down here at the layout. And um, if you watched the prior video, you saw that I had taken this IHC Premier dual motor GG1 all apart because it has two motors. One was working, but the other was seized. And it wasn't the motor that was the problem. It was the gear tower. The gear tower had old grease in it. This thing... Uh, it's another one probably over 20 years old and uh, the, the grease had turned to cement and it uh, wouldn't move. Thankfully, I didn't leave current on it for too long a period of time. The motor seems to be fine. I took the gear tower all apart and uh, cleaned it with alcohol and then put my trusty um, red lithium and um, LaBelle grease oil on it. And we're about to see if she wants to run. Now this monster, now you might say, what the heck is that thing on top? And you'll say, yeah, well, look at that. It's a, um, it's a piece of masking tape that was there on the pantograph for a reason. I forgot and I wrote on it and it got smudged. There's some other minor repair that has to be fixed on it. I just don't remember what it is right now. But um, as you can see, it started and of course, like all GG1s, it has uh, 12 uh, wheels that are supposed to be powered. And in this version, they are powered. And it has a leading truck and a trailing truck. So it has a grand total. If we could stop it over here. I don't know if you could see. It's kind of dark. But it's got... The reason why it's a GG is that the uh, there's four leading wheels that are not powered. And then six wheels that are powered. And in the Pennsylvania Railroad, the uh, steam engine that was a 460, just like the front half of this is a 460, it was called a G. So Penzi parlance just became a GG, and it was the first, so it became the GG1. But as an electric, they count axles instead of wheels, so it's a 2CC2. Now, the only bad thing about this is it's engineering plastic, so it probably won't last as long as... Uh, you know, River Rossi. But, man, look how beautiful it works. Now, will it make it? It's got 20 wheels picking up power, I think. Maybe only 16. Oh, yeah, made it through Dead Man's Pass. She's flying. And she is... She's doing great. Wow. Back from the dead. I hope I didn't leave anything on the tracks. I took that monster R1 off. Look at her go. Of course, it's in uh, Penzi uh, livery in Tuscan Red. Tuscan Red was for the passenger cars. Where is she going now? Oh, there she is. Wow. Let's see if we can catch her on the other way. Wow, I gotta get all of these out. Oh, there she goes. Can't even keep up with her. Woohoo! She was dead this morning. She wasn't meant to be dead. She was meant to live and fly. I'm so happy to be out of the box. You know, I built this layout to be confusing because I wanted it to be, look like it was going like a never-ending sort of thing, and I think I achieved it on some level. Hey, that track cleaning car worked. Well, 
Remember, this has got like 20 wheels of pickup. So, that's helping. She's probably going at 150 scale miles an hour. I don't see that on every layout. What is that? A big T Rex and a. Uh, what was that? Spinosaurus. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Hey, thanks for watching. <laughs>